Hello and welcome to the eOrganic webinar on the Organic Seed Production Tutorials by Jared Zeistro of the Organic Seed Alliance. My name is Alice Formiga and I'm the webinar coordinator for eOrganic. eOrganic is the Organic Agriculture Community of Practice with eExtension. You can find all of our published articles, videos, and our many recorded webinars on organic farming and research topics on our website at extension.org slash organic underscore production. This presentation is being recorded and next week you'll be able to find the recording on our website and on the eOrganic YouTube channel. Before we begin, I'd like to briefly introduce Jared Zeistro, who's the California Research and Education Specialist for the Organic Seed Alliance. Jared designed the eOrganic organic seed production tutorials, so he will be telling you what they include and give you a brief tour. All right. Thank okay. you very much, Alice. Mm -hmm. Good morning or afternoon, everyone. Uh, thank you for taking the time out of your days to attend this webinar. As Alice said, we will be going uh, over fairly briefly uh, what exactly the eOrganic organic seed production tutorials are and how to use them. So as Alice said, I'm Jared Zeistro. I work for Organic Seed Alliance. Organic Seed Alliance is a nonprofit that advances sustainable seed systems through research, education, and advocacy that empowers farmers to take control of their seed. Uh, so I'm not sure how many of you attending are already producing seed or if you're considering organic seed production either for your own on-farm use or for commercial sale but you may have realized there's a lot of benefits about producing seed. Uh, producing seed on your farm allows you to diversify your farm both in terms of adding to your crop mix and your rotations and also diversifying your farm enterprise and seasonal cash flow. Producing seed allows you to provide habitat for beneficial insects including both pollinators and predatory insects. The organic seed market is a growing market right now where there is strong demand for organic seed and it's outstripping supply. So this is an opportunity to get into that market. Producing your own seed also allows you to secure your own seed sources and maintain key varieties that you may depend on for your farm. And finally, seed production, if done right, can allow you to improve and adapt varieties to your Muted. to your on-farm practices and to your markets. Sounds great, right? But there's a lot to consider when producing seed and there are, are a number of differences between a crop being grown, for example, as a vegetable or as a seed crop. Those differences might include differences in timing of planting and harvest, differences in terms of spacing, in terms of if you need to be prepared to stake your crops, differences in how you irrigate, differences in fertility management, and differences in weed, pest, and disease management. In addition, there are some things that you may not have had to think about at all if you're not growing a seed crop. For example, managing your biennial seed crops over the winter and for the following year or managing isolation distance or population size. So the purpose of the organic seed production tutorials is to give you a tool to help you understand seed production. These tutorials were based on workshops at the 2011 Organic Ecology Conference and they are a function of a, a strong partnership of Organic Seed Alliance, eOrganic, and Cooperative Extension. These free tutorials cover organic seed production of beets and Swiss chard, carrots, brassicas such as radishes, cabbage, etc. They cover seed production of onions, of wet seeded crops like tomatoes and cucumbers, and lettuce. There are also tutorials on this website on choosing appropriate seed crops for your climate, 
on managing seed quality in organic seed production and in managing seed borne diseases in organic seed production. So now what I'm going to spend time with you on is taking you on a guided tour of the tutorials to show you both the features that are available in these tutorials and also help walk you through some of the parts that might be confusing if you were venturing through them on your own. So I'm going to transition from my PowerPoint over to online and you can find these tutorials in, uh, you can get to these tutorials through one of two places. You can find them on the eOrganic website here or you can find them at campus.extension.org under the sustainable agriculture category. So the first thing to realize is that in order to use these tutorials, you need to enroll in this course. This, for any of you that may have used these tutorials before, this is a change. Um, and this is this enrollment requirement was added because it's the only way to allow us to offer um, both quiz and evaluation features for folks. So in order to enroll, you would click here to enroll. And if you've already um, are, have used the campus.extension.org website, what you would do is first you would log in here. Or if you haven't used it before, uh, you follow this simple registration process to create an account. It's completely free and it takes maybe a minute. Um, they ask very simple information, just choosing a username and a password and your email address, etc. So since I already have an account, I'm going to log in. And at this point, um, I'm already actually enrolled in this course, but if I wasn't enrolled, there would be a page here that would ask me if I wanted to enroll and I would just click the enroll button. Now that I'm enrolled in the course, what you will note first of all is note here in the corner, there's this maintenance alert. This lets everyone know that the campus.extension website is going to be undergoing an upgrade beginning November 19th, which will likely take it offline for two to three days. So that is just a few days from now. So anyone who's viewing this webinar a couple of days from now and is confused about why they're not able to access these tutorials, this is why. So <clears throat> have a little patience and um, the site will be available again fairly quickly. So looking at this, um, the other thing to note right away is that this course does assume some prerequisite knowledge. It's designed for individuals who have some basic knowledge of seed saving and of organic production. Um, if you're in search of basic introductory seed saving information, you may wish to read Organic Seed Alliance's Seed Saving Guide for Farmers and Gardeners, which you can access by clicking on this link here. It's free to download and there's an excellent manual covering the basics of seed saving. Going down through the course here, you'll see that the course is organized into different sections, including going through this, seed crops for your climate, organic seed production or onion seed production, beet and Swiss chard seed production, brassica seed production, carrot seed production, lettuce seed production, wet seeded crop production, seed borne diseases, and seed quality. Within each one of these sections, the majority of the content the kind of the heart of the content is within these books here. So let's take a tour through the onion seed production module. Once you click on a book, what you'll see is they're organized into individual pages 
the table of contents is outlined here, walking you basically through the process of the things you would need to think about as you would produce onion seed props. Each of these books contains uh, information basically that was based on the organicology uh, courses that were taught back in 2011, but they're um, laid out in a way that makes the information fairly easy to digest and reference and are a mix of photos, text, audio, and video. So to go through each page, you would simply, you can advance to the next page here, or you can move around using the table of contents on the left. So something to note, I wanted to point out is that some of these pages have embedded videos that show a brief clip of some key points that the presenter made when they presented at Organicology. Depending on your internet connection, these videos can take a few minutes to load. So uh, you just need to have, if you find that it's not loading right away, be patient, it will load. And I will show you there's also another way to get access to these videos. Once you've gone through the book, to return to the main menu, go up here to Organic Seed Production link right here, and that will return you back to the main course page. If you look, for example, with Onion Seed Production, beyond the uh, book, there are additional resources. These additional resources contain the original presentation that was used in PowerPoint form at the Organicology tutorial or uh, uh, talk. They also contain an audio recording of that talk. In addition, they contain video of the that was of the entire presentation at Organicology. So depending on what mode of learning is most conducive to you, you can access the content in a variety of ways, either through the book, by looking at the PowerPoint and listening to the audio, or watching the video. You'll see actually that some of the books, or some of the topics here have additional content including links to outside resources. For example, here in Beet and Chard Seed, there's the Organic Seed Alliance publication on Beet and Sard, uh, Chard Seed production that you can click to. And some of them, the presenters had handouts that you can download from our website. For example, here in Lettuce Seed Production, you can download a growing lettuce seed handout that Don Tipping, the presenter at Organicology, provided to attendees. Once you've gone through one of the modules, you can take a quiz to test your knowledge. So down here at the bottom, there are quizzes. These are brief, multiple choice um, quizzes that will allow you to get immediate feedback on what, how well you've learned some of this information. So, for example, here you can see there are a number of questions, and you can answer, um, and then hit submit. And it will tell you if you are correct or not. Once you've viewed all of these pages, or whenever you feel that you've accessed this content, to the extent that you're happy with, what we really, really, really would appreciate from each and every one of you is to go down to the bottom of the page here and take a few minutes to complete this course evaluation. This course evaluation allows us to know how you've used this course, a little bit about the demographics of the people who've used this course, ways for us to improve this course, and it allows us, ultimately, this is a grant-funded project, and it allows us to um, report to our funders that 
this was successful in doing what we hoped that it would do, which is educating producers on seed production. So that is the basic tour of the website and when we get to the questions I will be happy to jump back and show you anything that may have been confusing as I went through. I wanted to also let you know that there are resources beyond the seed tutorials. So for those of you that want to learn more about organic seed production, there are a number of other free resources available to you to get more information. These include the Organic Seed Alliance website. Uh, one of our strong efforts has been in creating publications on seed production. So we have, as I mentioned, a seed saving guide, but we also have seed production manuals for organic seed producers on six different vegetable crops, as well as manuals on how to conduct your own on-farm variety trials and how to conduct plant breeding. So if you go to seedalliance.org, you can find all of these available to download for free on our publications page. Another great place to go to get information on a ton of different topics on organic seed production is the eOrganic Organic Seed Resource Guide. This is available at extension.org slash article slash 18340. 